Susie, I'm a craft stylist and mum of two. I'm here today to show you how easy it is to help your children with their school projects. And today we're going to make a Tudor house. And for this project you will need a large cardboard box, a small cardboard box, some white acrylic paint, sheets of brown, black, grey and white foam, a large sheet of white card, a black ink pen. So first we need to glue the larger box onto the smaller box. top flaps of the box and on the short flap measure a central point at the top and then draw and cut it into a triangle. Glue along the edges of the triangular roof. And hold in place for a few minutes. So now we have the main structure ready, we need to create the roof to go over the top. So take a sheet of white card, fold in half and then lay it on top of the roof and see if you need to trim off any of the edges. So I'm going to trim about two centimetres along the sides. And then one centimetre off the end. So you want to have a slight overlap over the sides and the ends of the roof. Then once you're happy with that you can then stick it in place with glue. And now the house is ready to be painted. Once you've painted the house, leave it to dry and then apply another coat. So whilst we're waiting for that to dry, pop it to one side and then we'll start to cut the windows. So the windows measure roughly 6 centimetres by 5 centimetres. We're going to draw diagonal lines with a black ink pen on the windows. So you will need six windows, two for each side of the house and one for each end. So then we're going to glue the windows to the house. And then we need to make the frames to go around the windows. Take a sheet of black foam and cut it into half a centimetre strips and then cut them into smaller pieces so that you've got a nice black frame around the windows. So next we need to measure and cut the timber cladding for the house. So take a sheet of black foam Cut it into one centimetre strips. For a house of this size, you'll need to cut two to three sheets into strips. So we're going to start by sticking the cladding onto each end of the box with some glue. beam for the house. Simply with a pencil draw a curved shape and then straight down.
to make a door with brown foam and then draw and cut out a small black handle. Then glue the door in place. Finish off by adding a frame around the door and cladding to the end of the house. Now we're going to make the tiled roof and for this you'll need a sheet of grey foam and a sheet of brown foam. We're going to measure each sheet into 2cm by 3cm tiles. Continue until you've cut both sheets completely into tiles. Starting at the bottom of the roof we're going to glue the tiles side by side, randomly placing the grey in between the brown. next layer, just like a real roof, the tiles are going to overlap. Here's our finished Tudor house. For a list of what you need to make, instructions and more great school project ideas, head to the Hobbycraft blog or the Ideas station on Facebook.